that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> this is a full set all the way down from the one iron. Guys, welcome back. Today, Ashley and I are going thrifting for golf clubs and anything else cool we can find. We're also gonna go test out the clubs at that course that we played at last time, so it should be fun. We'll meet you at thrift store number one. All right, behind that palm tree is one of our favorite thrift stores. This is actually the thrift store that we donated all those bags to, so interested to see if they're still here. It's been about two weeks. Yeah. Let's see. Doesn't look like they have our bags anymore, but Ashley found one, but let's check this out really quick as advertised on TV, not as seen on TV. This is before they even changed the name of that, but apparently this will tell you how far it is. So an old school launch monitor, that's pretty cool. Got some other clubs up here. We got a uh, oil hardened McGregor tourney driver. And I think I saw a Ping I2 three wood, a Hogan Apex three wood. Some of my favorite irons, the uh, iron version of these woods are some of my favorite irons. And then what'd you find over here? Speaking of Hogan, yeah. Cycle Yeah, we donated some bags to make room. I think we're gonna need to do that again because this bag is absolutely awesome. We have an a, uh, old school Hogan bag. This one is like way more understated. Those ours is like super gaudy. We'll we'll post a picture up yeah, here. I really like this one though. How much is it? Let's see. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Definitely going home with us. All right, this isn't the only bag we got in there. Check this out. Caddyshack go for dancing. Yeah, got the Caddyshack towel. It actually still works too. The music and everything. The yeah. gopher is still. Uh, I thought it was just going to be a display piece. Oh, you can't hear me. Over I thought it was just going to be a display piece, but it actually works. That's really cool. Yeah, you cool. got the clubs that are dancing. The gopher is dancing. It's going to be hard to beat that find. Yeah, this is a cool find. Yeah. All right, next thrift store. I always feel like we're walking into a horror movie. Ah, UST Pro Force. And an original ping. <laughs> ping Karsten toe heel balance, and they've got a UST Pro Force <laughs> shaft in there. I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. I always have some weird stuff in here. The person who donates in here is always into like the as seen on TV stuff. So we found some cool stuff in here before, like a uh, Vixa V12. We got an old school Callaway uh, three wood right here, a big Bertha S2H2. Got anything else look cool over there? Um, I'm not sure what's changed. I remember these guys, but I think there's a couple of new ones. Oh, yeah. Lynx putter. The Tigress, I think that's yeah. the ladies one. We haven't been to a pawn store in forever, but I remember this one having a bunch of golf clubs, so uh, let's get in there and check it out. All right, let's see what we got. Got a full set of Tommy Armour 845s right here, right next to a set of uh, Tommy Armour 855s. Got a bomb tech grenade driver, some hammer. Got a driver and a three wood. <laughs> what do you got over there? Oh, the Bass Ackwards putter? Yeah, it's cool. That's cool, $15, I'm gonna have to get that. Wanted to do a video of it. It's like, uh, well, it's Bass Ackwards. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did it correctly. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Thank you, Ashley. You're always uh, lining me up correctly. What do we got? V steel over here. Got a Callaway. Yeah. Oh, this is the updated version of my uh, three with the Super LS. This is the low spin. Got a Kuro Cage. What is? It? How do you say that? Kuro Kage. I always mess that up. Yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't stick. Yep. Oh, this is a Ping Nelly putter, I think. Yeah. Not super rare. We don't have one, but this is pretty cool. What is that? Yeah, I don't know what uh, material it's made out of, but it's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, uh, the shaft's bent a little bit. That's pretty cool though. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. It almost reminds me of like Jurassic Park, the like, dinosaur. <laughs> oh yeah, that right there. Oh, a bunch of head covers over here too. Srixon. Callaway X series. A couple of Callaway X series. Yeah. Huh. That's a crazy color. Right, <laughs> see how much we can get this uh, Bass Ackwards putter for. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. All right, it was kind of loud in there, but check out this putter. It's the uh, Bass Ackwards. It's the same people who make the Power Pod. It's by Jim Flood. He's one of the, uh, he's like a, uh, what do they call him? Thomas Edison of golf. He uh, invented the Power Pod, all of that. He was one of the founders of Aldi Law and Odyssey. So yeah. pretty cool things. I've never actually tried one of these. We've tried the uh, Jim Flood. I forget what the one was called. It's like, it's like the red insert and it goes back and forth. We'll po post a picture up of yeah, it. I don't remember but, what the name was, but I really like that insert. But this is just like a cool design. Yeah, that's definitely... My putting could use all the help it can get, so maybe I need, need to do it backwards. Why is it that golf clubs are always in dark, creepy little places? Oh man, they got some nice head covers back there. Got a full set of something right here. Looks like some uh, Callaway X12 clones or knockoffs. Got a bunch of clubs back here. I'm not really sure if you guys can see this. It's fairly dark in here. And I have to uh, pay attention to the camera and wow. not stepping on everything. What do we got? Old Cobra Baffler, Northwestern Blades. If they had the clubs that went with these head covers, we'd be uh, we'd be in business here, but it doesn't look like it. You find anything, Ash? 
<laughs> knock over this mirror. Isn't that bad luck? Yes, very much. All right, we'll let you know if we find anything, but oh, here we go. There's a little ta old school tailor made super steel. That's pretty cool. We are at the Flagler Humane Thrift Store. They have a little deal here where you make a $25 donation and you can name one of the cats that they have in here. They might do that one day. Oh, they've only got one in there. We'll see if he needs a name. Little guy, I don't know if you guys can see it with the uh, mirror. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool. Let's see if they have any golf clubs. Proof life. Proof life. The cat didn't need a name, but maybe this sloth does. Thing's gigantic. And to go with it, we got a giant leaf. <laughs> Maybe we can adopt the sloth and uh, we got food for him already. Oh, check this out. This little tiny. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wilson, is this a koozie or like a pen holder? How much is it? 79 cents. That's going. Yeah. What do you got over here? Disc golf? Wait, that's a different kind of disc golf. Yeah, that's not, that's not disc golf. Goodwill built this whole rack for the golf clubs. Nothing. No clubs. We should just rename this thrift store the Lefty Thrift Store. Yeah. Although if they have those Hogan's that they had the last time we were here, they're definitely going home in that Hogan bag we got. Yep. Do you think uh, golf clubs are 50% off home decor? Yeah, fill a bag of golf clubs. <laughs> $5. <laughs> All right, it looks like they still got them and they're in a bag, but I don't think this is the $5 uh, deal, but we still have the uh, Tommy Armor 7 iron and 9 iron. Still have the uh, X12 4 iron, Cobra 3 wood, but this is a full set all the way down from the 1 iron, no 3 iron, but down to the nine iron of these Hogan edged and we got that Hogan bag today. I think these are coming home with us. One iron, two iron. Yeah, one all the way down to the nine iron missing the three iron. That's pretty cool. All right guys, made it out to the course. We're gonna do a little challenge today. Ashley is going to putt for me and we're gonna play with all the clubs that we found yes. today. We're on hole number five. We just uh, ended up filming the last video over here on uh, hole number four, so make sure you check that out. We yep. found some clubs in here, some pretty cool Mizunos and everything, but nothing like the, uh, that's like a Hogan collector's dream yeah. right there. Even got, I didn't even notice this on the, uh, the bag tag before. It's got a little uh, Ben Hogan insignia right there, or uh, what is that called? Yeah, insignia, we'll go with that, but we're going uh, five holes here. First hole is par four, 352. What are we playing for today? Last time we played for the uh, pumpkin spice latte. Something good for me, please. Something good? <laughs> yeah, because you're on my team this time. Last yeah. time you were rooting against me. Uh, bowling. Bowling? Mini golf. Mini golf? Yeah, let's do mini golf. What are we doing with mini golf? Going to play. It's fun. We get to go play mini golf? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm down for that. What happens if we don't? <laughs> we go play we mini golf. Yeah, we All right, either way, we're going to play mini golf. We're going with the uh, Callaway Big Bertha S2 H2 3 wood. I'm not even sure what flex this is. Firm flex, so that should be pretty good. Yeah. All right, you're putting for me today, though. Gotta hold up the team. Gotta yep. go to play mini golf. With the bass backwards putter. Oh. I think that one might have gone through the fairway, but I just realized we didn't say what the challenge is. Yeah. I have to shoot even par, or we have to shoot even par through five holes. I guess either way we're playing mini golf, so. We're yeah, we're all, the challenge. we're all winners here. It's uh, 2020. Everybody gets a trophy, but uh, yeah, hit that three wood really good. Let's go see where we ended up. Hopefully oh. it didn't go through the fairway. Also, we're at Pine Lakes Golf Club. Oh yeah, Pine Lakes Golf Club in Palm Coast, Florida. I don't even know if we mentioned that in the last video. No, this is the first time we played here though. Yeah, it's super nice. Arnold Palmer design, so fitting hat. Huh. Let's uh, go see if we can't make a uh, bar, birdie. Not a bogey. <laughs> Got about 100, 120 yards left, pins in the back, but I think we left the nine and the eight iron in the car but the, uh, the cart path should go back by the car on the next hole. I checked it out on the map. So we're going with seven iron for now. Yeah, we, got, we do. <laughs> yeah, we got the world's greatest putter. I just need to put it on the green and we should be good. Go. All right, just off the green, it looks like it's breaking right to left or left to right. I'm not really sure, it's backwards. That looks good though. <laughs> That's better than I would have done. Yeah. In the last video, we found a TP Mills. I bet you wish you were putting with that, though. Yeah, although that felt like really solid contact. It made nice sound. Yeah, that's a tap in, even for me. <laughs> Boom. We definitely need to come back here with our kayaks. There's a little put in right there. Park the car at the clubhouse, and then it goes all the way back over that's there. That's really cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Even par three one, Ashley with a clutch one footer. We got a 392 yard par four. This is the six hole. Uh, there's water to the left, it looks like, so we're aiming right. Didn't hit that one well at all. We're gonna have a tricky shot over this little hazard and a bunker right there. We're over in the rough. So uh, yeah, we got our work cut out for us. Yep, yep. Just need to make it to the green. We can cool off over there on that person's sprinkler. Oh, go. That was so thick. I don't know if the GoPro is picking this up, but this is like a four or five foot swale right here. And we ended up in the bunker, I think. 
Also, our car was not on the last cart path, so we are still stuck with the 7 iron out of this bunker. This is looking... Yeah, Ashley's in line with it. You can like basically play it all the way up there to kill the speed and have it come back down, though. That's the plan. Roll down the hill. Oh, it's trying. Other way. <laughs> See, it's confusing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to rely on Ashley's putting like we normally do. This one's breaking downhill a little bit to the right. Yes, that is a frog. <laughs> Two frogs indeed. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> clutch, clutch, clutch. <laughs> she can putt with anything, a bass backwards putter, TP Mills. All right, another clutch putt from Ashley. We're on our third hole, hole number seven, par five. 529 yards. I really want to use that one iron, but we're going with the three wood off of the tee and uh, maybe we'll have a one iron left in. Although that doesn't make any sense. I can't really hit a one iron off the deck. I don't think that'd be pleasant for yeah. your elbows. Yeah, we'll go uh, one iron off the tee. <laughs> All right, a six iron and a seven iron later and we just skirted the water and we just skirted the bunker on this one. These green complexes are actually pretty, uh, pretty sweet. There's a lot of swales. I don't know if the GoPro is picking it up, but that next hole looks like a beast. You got to carry water. You got a bunch of bunkers into the wind. But uh, what are we doing here? You want me to chip this or do you want to putt it from there? Uh, I think you should chip this one. Yeah, that's probably the correct. Yeah, we can get it to scamper, scamper on down there. Oh, that could be good. It's rolling straight at it. That's definitely a makeable putt from there. Perfect. Whee! All right, hole number eight, a par three, 165 yards. Let's see if we can't make a birdie. It actually doesn't look hard at all from this side. Over there, it was pretty intimidating, but 165 yards, we should be going with the seven iron for the seventh, eighth time <laughs> so far. We came up way short. I forgot in the last hole that I said it was into the wind, so should have uh, remembered that, but we got a pretty tricky shot. Got to go all the way to the back edge of that green. Got to carry it over this bunker over a little mound actually we're gonna have to roll it over the mound because all we have is a seven iron don't know if i mentioned that but uh <laughs> whoops <laughs> yep this is gonna be tricky keep rolling roll out how did that stop i don't know oh no it's actually still rolling though that should be pretty good yeah it's got about like 10 feet that is just unreal you're a putting genius and jim flood the inventor is also a genius. <laughs> Hole number nine here. Ashley's putting is holding us together. As always, 370 yard par four. Looks like we got out of bounds on the right. Bunkers on the left. And a ton of bunkers around the green. This is a really nice course. Really nice. Yeah, we should have played here more often. It's not that far away from where we live and it's pretty cheap. Yeah. I think it was, what, 20 bucks for the uh, twilight round yeah. with the cart? That was pretty crazy. Yep. All right, let's see if we can't put one in the fairway. Maybe give you a birdie opportunity. <laughs> Sounds good. I've been uh, relying too much on you on this one. <laughs> Well, here's a shot for you. Gotta go over the trees. I don't think you can see. Over the bunker lip. Over, over the, the bunker lip. It's a pretty tight pin location. Easy peasy. Looks like we're over the trees. That's gonna work out. All right, wouldn't be a stacked golf video if it didn't start raining, but uh, hopefully we can get this in. Hopefully there's not too much rain on the camera. Sunshine and rain. Yep. <laughs> That'd be like the title of our uh, album. Yes. Oh, and I can make that putt, but that was very good. That was close. All right, take your time. This is for a mini golf. <laughs> mini golf over another. Yeah, I guess. Oh, finally caught up to us. <laughs> We're going to play mini golf, though. The grip's slippery. That's what I'm going with. Yeah. Maybe we should play mini golf with this putter. Oh, you almost missed that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right guys there you have it hopefully you enjoyed today's video it's a lot of fun getting out here and this is definitely a really nice course as yes. it's about to uh, start pouring down on us but uh lots of cool finds got this uh old ping karsten uh, iron with a weird like modern shaft on it so that's yeah. pretty cool and all of that hogan stuff the caddy shack thing the bass backwards and the mini uh the, I don't even know what you call the it, mini Wilson, bag. Yeah, <laughs> the mini Wilson thing and the Caddyshack thing. Yeah, that was, that was cool. a lot of good stuff today. So <laughs> hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And see you next time. See you next time, guys.